Well, as is so often the case, being a Palace supporter, there is good news and there is bad news. Now, I'm going to start with the good news because obviously you don't want to hear the bad news just yet. You want to start, start with a bit of good news. And that is that uh, apparently, well, according to the Crystal Palace website, Czech de Kure has signed a new contract with the club that runs until 2029. So that's fantastic news. Obviously, he's injured at the moment. It's going to be until the end of the season. But it's great that he's committed his future to the club. And even if he doesn't stay for that long, it means that we will get some kind of uh, compensation for him should he decide to leave. So it's great news. Uh, I think he's going to be a big part of um, Oliver Glasner's plans going forward next season. And uh, it means that we've got, you know, we've got a really good central midfield, uh, defensive midfielder in place there uh, for the long term. And so that's absolutely fantastic. I'm really pleased that uh, that, that has happened. Hopefully we'll get a few more players uh, committing their long term uh, futures to Crystal Palace, such as Anderson and Gahey. However, this is the bad news. Um, bad news regarding Mark Gahey is that he's had to have minor knee surgery. Um, apparently it, it was to clear up a problem within the knee after he had a setback during his rehabilitation. And that means that he's going to be out between six to eight weeks um, before, he's, uh, before he's probably even going to be back in training. So it looks like he's going to be out for the longer term, which is a big blow for us. Obviously, a lot of people were uh, really excited to see Gehi come back into this system that Oliver Glasner has been, has been setting up. And I guess it means that Richards is going to be um, with us in there on the longer term. And also Joel Ward probably will also be there in the longer term as well next to Anderson. So um, that looks like it's probably going to be the setup for the foreseeable future until we get Gahey back. Which is a really big blow because obviously he's such a, you know, an important part of our defensive setup. And it would have been great to see how he flourished under Oliver Glasner. But it is uh, unfortunately a bit of a setback. But uh, hopefully... He will uh, he will do well in his recovery and come back as soon as possible. So it's news on two injuries, unfortunately, but at least we're not Manchester United who have uh, just announced that they've got three players now. Three more of their players have gone down with injuries. So uh, it's a big it's a big situation at the moment in the Premier League. I have to say, you know, there are injuries amongst teams across the Premier League. You know, there's numbers of injuries coming coming through. I don't know whether it's, uh, you know, a new style of training that has been adopted that's causing these problems or whether it's just fixture congestion or whatever it might be. But it just seems to be this year there's so many injuries amongst the uh, amongst the Premier League clubs. Um, I really don't know what to uh, what to make of it. But anyway, let me know what your comments are on those two bits of news regarding the club and, uh, and I will see you next time. Well, actually, I'm going to be um, doing the uh, pre-match interview reaction to Oliver Glasner before the Tottenham game so don't forget to subscribe and stick around for that as well I'll see you next time